At this point, I've rinsed all my brushes. Now um, I've picked up the large fan brush and the medium fan brush again. Refilled my palette with the colors I need. You need more white than anything. And what we're going to do, we have to kind of detail this area and this area before we bring in the foreground into detail. And the tree here, shrub here, you just kind of want to finish off what's happening back here. So we're going to add white, some glowy cad, maybe a little yellow ochre. It's got to be nice and bright. So with this little fan brush, we're going to create grass coming up against the house. So I'm just carefully hitting the canvas and brushing up. So only here and there. You can brush up and down, just wherever you feel what, what's going to look good, what looks right. It's going to work fast. This brings back the sunlight into the foreground. You won't see much on this side because the sun's over here, so these trees would be blocking the sun from hitting this grass here. So the big brush for closer grass strokes. back here. I'm, just, I'm dipping into all different colors. Some browns, golds, coming up in front of the rocks. Kind of going on the rocks, going around the rocks, behind the rocks. Grab my uh, half inch sable, just a little more detailing on these rocks. Gonna jump around again. With the raw amber and gold. Like I said, the more colors you add, the more it kind of comes to life. Back with the fan brush. 